Hey, what's going on, chess lovers? Uh, I do have a big announcement to make. Uh, I do want to say for the first 20 people to actually enroll in the Maurice Bishop Chess University, uh, you would get uh, three free uh, chess ebooks from me. And honestly, guys, this is not no whack ebook. This is not something that is just nobody want to look at. Now, nah, these are ebooks that you definitely gonna definitely want to look into. Uh, it's definitely uh a really nice ebook so uh the first 20 people to enroll in the maurice bishop chess university you will get three or three free uh ebooks from me all right so um without further ado let's actually get along or i said get along let's get into uh this video all right guys peace hey what's going on chess lovers this is maurice bishop chess y'all know by slogan Life is a game of chess. All right, we're playing the L shot. So we go knight f3. Now knight f1. Now we're getting ready to go knight d3. All right, so we'll go g5. Die h4. Uh, I will, uh, we'll go queen c2. Uh, we'll take. So what do we want to do here? So we're going to go a3. We want to prevent the knight from coming to b4. I mean, um, well, yeah, b4. Even though we do have a knight here. Okay, so now this is um, weird because now he comes here. Which is fine because now uh, we have the bishop on f4. We'll go bishop captures f3. And um, it's kind of like bishop d2 first. Uh, okay, so now we, we could go bishop g2. Uh, what do we want to do here? We'll go B4. And all we're doing is we're just trying to get some files in. You know, that's what we want to do. We want to get some files in. Maybe C file or the B file, whatever one. Huh, interesting move. Very interesting. So, got me thinking if I want to take this one first, but then we'll, we'll take with this. So, we'll go D catcher C4, and now Bishop E3. And now we have A4 coming in uh, with the next move, B5. And the whole point of b5 is i could go bishop c5 and bishop b4 so you're about to see what i'm talking about all right so he doesn't uh do all the other moves at all so we'll just castle here and we'll go f3. All right, we'll take this one first. And now we have um, queen captures um, e4. I am going to go rook captures f7, though. Now, if he tried bishop captures c3, no. But if he actually takes the rook, queen captures um, e5 with a check. 
And like I tell y'all, see, and this is the problem. Rook catchers on um, B7 check. All right, so now we got um, rook catchers on a7 check and then queen a8 checkmate. So that's how you do it. But I wanted to show y'all what happens if I wanted to show y'all. So with the rook catchers f7 and the engine's probably, oh, the engine actually agree with me on this one. Wow, that's, that's awesome. The engine actually agree with me on that. So yeah, so the whole point of rook catches at seven guys is if he takes, then I have um, the bishop captures. Um, I'm sorry, guys, my bad. <laughs> uh, I had queen captures e5 because, like I told y'all before, if I can win the dark square bishop, you know, I am golden. You know, this is pretty much the principle that I always talk about uh, when it comes to. Um, you know the L shot, you know, because I, I took his dark, I took away his dark square bishop, so now like I'm controlling dark squares now. I got a nice bishop pair, you know, all focusing on the king. Simple as that, which is what happened. Uh, but if he does come to a8, I have queen c5. Uh, the uh, the thing is, uh, white or black cannot go b6 due to the bishop here on g2, where it's pinning the pawn. And it's really nothing that he could really do to stop this. Unless he goes king b8. And then I do hit him with queen captures a7 um, check. Um, king c7. And then um, queen a5 check. Uh, if d6. I mean I'm, I'm getting a lot of play here. Uh, rook d1. King e5. Uh, b6. You know now I'm controlling all this whole row. So it's it's it's, it's nasty guy. It's very nasty. Uh yeah, it doesn't matter where he does. If he comes here, uh, this is, guys, this is just, this is just too much. Bishop h3 check, and literally the only way he could stop it is with queen f5, and then you get hit with, you know, checkmate. So yeah, but that was the whole purpose of that rook catches f7. That rook catches f7 is like beautiful, you know. So, but this is what I'm talking about, guys. Learn your tactics. Uh, for all that watch, uh, or that's actually enrolled in my Maurice Bishop Test University, you could definitely uh, check that out and everything. So, definitely want to show y'all that. Uh, as y'all can see, guys, we're at 1841. So, we're going to go to, I mean, this is just my, what is it, speed, speed run account, I guess. What y'all want to call it. All right, so let's play another... Uh, L shot. All right, so D three. So now I'm playing a nineteen forty two H three, G four. All right, Bishop G two. Uh, we'll go Queen A four. Uh, we'll go G five. Now H four. And the whole point got, see, he goes there. So now I get h5 in. So if he had an e5 point here, he could have went e4 to block me from getting to this file right here, which is what I just already did now. So, And a lot of y'all that's in my court, y'all should already know uh, what this is all about. Now, obviously, I'm not going to take because the bishop is going to take back and he's going to defend this a7 point so now to prevent that i go e4 and look at this guys he uh he's creating on uh, light square weaknesses on himself too uh, i have a nice powerful um uh, long range um bishop here uh, which is pretty nice Okay, so he takes. So again, this bishop is uh, it's not going to be able to uh, you know, defend that h7 pawn at all. 
So it looks like he's going about to give up that light square bishop. And again, guys, if you could take the light square bishop, you are golden. You know, that is um, the rule here. Um, that is the principle. And we're good on time, too. I mean, this guy's probably like, how is this 1842 playing as well? <laughs> I'm not really 1841. <laughs> All right. All right, so now he goes bishop b6. And uh, we are going to take this off. Uh, I do like to go knight f3. It's something that I would love to go. Uh, because the g5 pawn is here, is guarding the square. Uh, everything is, he's pretty much blocked by his own pieces. And even if, once he moves his king, it, it's, it's, um, it's not going to really help him that much. So rook h6. Uh, again, he still can't go bishop f5 due to the pawn here, so uh, it's just not going to um, work. Uh, it's nothing that he can do to really uh, try to defend this. Uh, if he goes rook g8, uh, I have queen catcher g6 check, and I'm winning the uh, light square bishop on e6 as well. So, uh, yeah, it's pretty uh, crazy. Okay, so... What next? Um. So what I can do, I could go knight f three. Now the thing is, um. All right, yeah. So we could go, we could go king f one. Uh, if he does rook h eight, I still have queen captures on g six, so it's still uh not an issue. Uh, yeah. This looks like checkmate right here. Yeah, that looks like checkmate right there. Yeah, that's uh, that's definitely um uh, checkmate. That's a nasty, nasty checkmate. Um, uh, yeah, this is um pretty crazy. So yeah, guys, I'm showing y'all you know this because you know a lot of people think, oh man, you just do that with a higher level and everything. Nah, you could do this at all levels, guys. Um, uh, you just saw me with a sixteen hundred sign, and then now nineteen thirty two. So, uh, yeah. Uh, I wanted to show y'all. Yeah. Um. This is what I wanted to show y'all. Rook h6, 95. So the point that I was making, guys, if he went rook h8 thinking he traps my queen, uh, this doesn't trap my queen at all because I have knight catchers e5 check. Uh, the bishop can't take because the queen is pinning this, um, uh, the queen is pinning this dark square bishop, so the bishop cannot take on e5. Uh, so what else? Uh, obviously the king can't go g8 because the queen is here, so the only way he got is, uh, king f8. And let's see what these other ones see. So yeah, so a lot of them, so they got the first move is on knight catcher g6, which is pretty much what I was going for anyway. Um, but yeah, after this knight captures g6, most likely your opponent is going to resign. Because even after king f7, you have knight captures on uh, h8 check. Uh, king f8, knight g6, king f7. And um, what else? What, what else um, could happen here? Well, knight f3. Uh, knight f3 is getting ready to threat um, some mating attacks uh, with knight e5. Uh, and as you can see, black is literally... You know, literally, would have to give up a queen or anything. Uh, it doesn't matter what he does. Um, after this, uh, knight f e five uh, check, king e eight, uh, and after queen catcher g seven, guys, this is just over. So yeah, a lot of lot of tactics when it comes to the L shot, guys. A lot, a lot of tactics, man. All right. All right, so what else? So we're playing another nineteen fifty one. Okay. Oh, okay. So now we got somebody uh, moving all the way to the uh, to the center and everything. 
Uh, okay, so he pushed, so that's fine. Bishop g7. That's what we're going to do here. Yeah, so now he's gonna he's gonna definitely start creating a lot of weaknesses on himself. So uh knight f six, uh which is where we're going to go. Hmm. So what can he do with this? Uh let's go b five. B five will um break in the center like this. And um he just Pretty much trapped his um piece in or trapped his light square bishop so this is the power of the l shot guys and of course we're going to actually uh take uh we could go knight g4 uh we have queen b6 um coming in as well uh so yeah wow okay why not take all right, so he does have this coming in right now. Uh, he he would love to do this uh knight g six stuff for me. Um, I'm pretty sure he would. He would love that. Uh, and we'll just go knight catchers um e five. And again, this bishop is still on uh, track. Uh, I have no worries here. Uh, I still have bishop catchers e six coming in. So, yeah, I do have some weaknesses here, but um. Again, it's not going. He's playing it on um, kind of crazy though, because um, I don't know. He's playing it kind of. It's kind of crazy here. Uh, I got Queen B six coming in now, and now I have uh, Rook F eight. So if he decides to take my Bishop, uh, then this is going to be uh, checkmate here. So. Okay. Do I want to go bishop catcher? See, if I go bishop catcher e6, I have to take up the bishop. He does win this knight. So we don't want to do that, actually. Um, I am going to take this, though. Alright, um, if he has any meeting patterns or anything, no, we'll just go here. I have a winning position here, so. So we'll just go Bishop Captures on um, B3. Um, I don't really have to, uh, we'll just come here. All right, so now we have rook d8 now. All right, we'll go a6. All right, we'll come here. Now he's creating some weaknesses here. So it just depends on what he wants to do here, though. Uh, okay.
fake. So this is um pretty much over guys. Yeah, so this was over. Uh definitely wasn't my best uh one. Uh, I did do a few mistakes here, so uh wasn't my best one. Did a Crush the guy. This was actually longer than what it was supposed to be. Um, but yeah, he actually um played against it pretty well. But I just pretty much simplified it, you know, just going into the end game and all. So and that's pretty much how it is. Um, all right. Um, wanted the. My bad, guys. I, I wanted to see. I'm trying to figure out why it's not doing the actual analysis, which is what I wanted to see for myself. Oh, it's not going to let me do it because I'm not, you know, a diamond or I didn't upgrade to nothing. So you're not going to be able to see it. Uh, but yeah, to be honest with you guys, uh, I was thinking. Yeah, I could have just went. Yeah, and the crazy part is, guys, I, honestly, I could have just. I mean, I didn't really want to take because uh, the queen was going to come here. But, I mean, I just took it this way. Uh, the only thing is, I kind of had to defend the g6 square. Uh, queen b6. Uh, it probably was a better, better move. Uh, like this, c captures b3. Uh, I was wondering what happens, yeah, because he can't even, and I don't know why I didn't do it, because uh, he could have, if he did take this bishop, I'll just win a queen, but um, after a catches b3, uh, if he does take, then I do take, um, I do take this uh, rook, so it, it would have been definitely, um, it's still a winning uh, position um, for me though, so, so yeah, so rook. Yeah, and I and I and I could have just did it. So yeah, so I, I did a few mistakes. You know, definitely did a few mistakes here. Yeah, and that's why I did queen catches, which is the number one move. Queen catches e six. Uh, I thought he was gonna take the pawn, but he didn't. Um, but yeah, after this, uh, I definitely have the advantage here. Yeah, so, and because of these weaknesses in this uh, light square, bishop, I have the bishop pair. And usually, guys, um, when you have a bishop pair in the end game, uh, it's usually an advantage. In, in some position, it's usually an advantage. Um, yeah, so I just took that off. Yeah, so after he did all that, guys, this was, yeah. So once he did this, yeah, I already had, you know, take the knight off. You know, I got pass pawns, rook b3. Yeah, and this is over. This is a one end game. It's nothing that he could do, which is why I love the L shot because uh, the pawn structure is just too awesome, guys. Uh, another thing, guys, uh, even if he did, if he would have came to king d1, uh, I, I just would have just went uh, rook b1 uh, check. Uh, again, he can't go here because the pawn is here. Now, if he would have came here, I would have just had b2. Uh, if he comes here, then uh, Rook F1. Uh, I'm already getting ready to promote. Uh, even if he does take, uh, I just automatically win, guys. I just take this off. 
And then there's no where there's nothing that he could do to stop this um form promotion and I'll just win automatically. So that that was the little end game technique uh for y'all. You know, so uh so guys I actually hope you enjoyed this. Um so like I said, I'll do another part uh for y'all for the speed run. Um kind of limited time because obviously guys I'm still um working <laughs> teleworking right now. So I still have stuff that I need to do. But uh so as you see guys, we reached uh 19 uh 16 uh right now and we just did all L shot. Uh maybe some other stuff I'll do a straight uh maybe black lion, you know, doing a speed run. So I'll try to, you know, uh mix it up and everything. But I know for a lot of y'all, y'all like L shot and everything. So I had to input that one in there as well. So again, if you like this video, make sure you like, share, comment, let me know what you think. And also, guys. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. All right, guys. Peace.